Guernica, the most ancient town of the Basques and centre of their cultural tradition, was completely destroyed yesterday afternoon by insurgent air raiders. The bombardment of this open town far behind the lines occupied precisely three hours and a quarter, during which a powerful fleet of aeroplanes consisting of three German types, Junkers and Heinkel bombers and Heinkel fighters, did not cease unloading on the town bombs weighing from 1,000 pounds downwards and, it is calculated, more than 3,000 two-pounder aluminium incendiary projectiles. The fighters, meanwhile, plunged low from above the centre of the town to machine gun those of the civilian population who had taken refuge in the fields. In the form of its execution and the scale of the destruction it wrought, no less than in the selection of its objective, the raid on Guernica is unparalleled in military history. Guernica was not a military objective. The object of the bombardment was seemingly the demoralization of the civil population and the destruction of the cradle of the Basque race. The tactics of the bombers, which may be of interest to students of the new military science, were as follows. First, small parties of aeroplanes threw heavy bombs and hand grenades all over the town, choosing area after area in orderly fashion. Next came fighting machines, which swooped low to machine gun those who ran in panic from dugouts, some of which had already been penetrated by 1,000-pound bombs, which make a hole 25 feet deep. Many of these people were killed as they ran. A large herd of sheep being brought into the market was also wiped out. The object of this move was apparently to drive the population underground again. For next, as many as 12 bombers had appeared at a time, dropping heavy and incendiary bombs upon the ruins. The rhythm of this bombing of an open town was, therefore, a logical one. First, hand grenades and heavy bombs to stampede the population, then machine gunning to drive them below. Next, heavy and incendiary bombs to wreck the houses and burn them on top of their victims.